What are you doing? I'm testing some stuff for my chef. Yeah, we had some uh, old stuff and blah, blah, blah. And uh, I've checked your fragrances as well. There were a lot of empty things. Wait, you touched my fragrances? Where are they? They are in the bin, outside. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Two hours later. <laughs> Bonjour, bonjour, fragrance lovers, this is Clémence, I talk about fragrance and welcome back. In today's video, we are talking about my empty fragrances and I wanted to show you what I've been finishing, which probably means that I enjoyed it. Not always the case, actually. We'll tell you at the end if I'm just going to toss it or I'm just going to repurchase it. I'm actually not going to physically toss it, it's just for the metaphor, I don't toss bottle of fragrances. The situation that you've seen in the intro actually happened to me once. I wanted to die. You know, I love vintage and thrift shopping and I always want to give a second life to objects. So I won't toss it. Let's start. Okay, first one, shall we start by the best? This is a joke. Givenchy Very Eris Irresist. <laughs> Very irresistible, if they say in French. This is super, super old. I remember I got it when I was doing... One of my first internships was in a perfumery store. I won a challenge because, you know, like in perfumery store, you do have challenges to sell your fragrance. And I have to say, I'm really competitive and I was a good seller. <laughs> so I won that challenge and they gave me a bottle of their fragrance. I don't even know how I finished this bottle, but I think there was a period of my life where I was a bit lost in fragrances. <laughs> so I definitely won't buy that again. I just... <sighs> Typical. It's very super simple. It's like, smell like a clean floral scent. It's nice, don't get me wrong, it's nice, it's a Givenchy, I usually enjoy Givenchy fragrance, but it's too simple, like, I can't, I can't wear that anymore now, I need, I need, if it's a designer, I need something a slightly bit different, and this is just like sweet and floral, and I'm just like, Mwah. anyway, next one that I have here is Tumfo Neroli Portofino, so the travel side version, I used that so quick, I actually love it, it's really expensive to go to the gym, but it's really good to go to the gym because it's so so fresh juicy refreshing and you might think it's just like a freshy fragrance a lot of people say oh it doesn't last long and it's just a freshy fragrance but the juice a bit acidic without being too much got slightly a marina touch as well but very very delicate like and it's just like you're traveling to the sea uh, the italian coast and i just really really enjoy that it makes me think of summer it's getting me energized so easily, so I, I just love that. I think I'm gonna refill it. Even if it's really simple, I think it's efficient. This one is Burberry, my Burberry, and this is the Eau de Parfum. This I will definitely, definitely repurchase. I actually got a little, little bit left, and I don't use it since month because I don't want to use it all. It's supposed to be just a floral scent, but I find it so classy. And with Burberry, you can always feel like slightly honeyed touch in the flower, and I'm just addicted to that. And it's actually one of the fragrances that stay the most longest on my skin. I put it one spray on my skin, I tell you in the evening, I smell it just as I would spray. It's it's crazy, I love it. I think it's so, so classy and I would definitely repurchase a book. About Burberry, I've got another one which is London. There's nearly nothing left in there and I'm really, really sad. That's actually my favorite, favorite, ultimate favorite from Burberry and it's London. So I do like the male version as well, but the ladies version is a beautiful floral. It's just so solar, so energetic, classy. It's the fragrance I wear when I don't know what to wear. That's why it's so empty, like easily. I just like pick it and I'm just like, yeah, okay, like I'm just, uh, voila. I can't live without it and I will definitely buy it. And also it's very cheap. So would I really mind? No. 
Guerlain Terracotta. You'll see there's mainly designer. Actually, there's only designer, there's one niche that is empty. Just because I usually don't spray much of my niche, I pay them quite expensive, so I don't usually. And they're more unique as well, so for me, they're for very different occasions. Whereas those designers, for me, are more versatile. When there's a niche that I really like, I'm just like spraying a little bit or spraying a lot, but not that often. So that's Terracotta. This is literally the fragrance I repurchased the most in my life. I've bought it, I think, more than 10 times. Very summery, think of like that monoi type of smell. You go into Tahiti, you smell the flowers, the tiare flowers, you know, slightly touch of coconut, you know. It smells like, a, you know, this suntan product that you like to smell. It smells tropical. It's just, you know, when it's very, very warm and you want to smell sultry. Insane, beautiful. On Yves Saint Laurent, it's mainly like ladies fragrance, I'm actually surprised but I think it's because um, there's more occasion for me to wear ladies simple fragrance I would say because when I'm going to work or something like that I don't really wear a very unique unique fragrance because it's like office and before you know I was working for Chanel so uh, I couldn't really wear something that was outrageously outrageously different otherwise they would be like mm, she's not wearing Chanel this one <laughs> I was a bit of a rebel rebellious girl like I was spraying other stuff <laughs> I wouldn't like also like wear my usual masculine masculine fragrance because again for the same reason so Parisienne uh, discontinued I'm very sad so I'm definitely gonna buy another one before uh, I can't find it anymore some people say it's tacky I really love it I think it's beautiful very very fruity uh, like red type of fruit and usually I don't really like that so I'm actually surprised myself I Next one, the only niche. This is from Jermalon and this is Mer and Tonka. So if you follow my channel, you probably know that it's one of my favorite, favorite fragrance. I absolutely love it. That van vanilla-like, quite waxy uh, type of fragrance. Very, very unisex. It doesn't have any gender. Uh, I do wear that constantly. <laughs> it's one of my easy reach, but it's so beautiful when I want to smell mysterious, but not in a too heavy way. Sensual and sexy, but again, not too heavy. It gives a beauty, be beautiful sillage. It's relaxing, soothing at the same time. For me, big must up is this one. Whenever people say that Jo Malone is not great, I'm like, you sure you didn't try this? Are you, are you sure? Uh, but yeah, I will definitely repurchase one on or my little nukes so i don't know you in england or us or anywhere if you don't know a nux this is a, um, a fragrance that we buy in pharmacy uh, in in france a beauty brand and this is my go-to since pff, my mom used to wear that she absolutely loved this and I do love it too. It's basically in the line of Terracotta, Guerlain, those kind of scents, sunny, um, you know, like warm but fresh at the same time. This compared to Terracotta, I would say it's less sweeter, which I appreciate. I think it's like slightly more macho and elegant than Terracotta. So I do really love that. If I'm on a summer, you know, brunch or something and I want to smell elegant but sultry, solar, sexy, this is the one I go for. And I've got a big one that is nearly empty and a small one that is empty. And whenever I will go back to France, I will definitely repurchase everything. I'm going back in August. Uh, actually, last time I've bought those, last time I was in France, the girl was like, oh my god, it's sold out all the time. I was like, yeah, of course, it's amazing. Ones are lots of Chanel's and you know why. I've worked during many years for the house of Chanel. So some people say, oh, you talk a lot about Chanel. Well, I always had a passion for Chanel. I didn't work for Chanel because I wanted to you know, just, you know, it's Chanel. No, I work for it because I'm passionate about Chanel since I'm a kid. Uh, so, you know, like <laughs> the brand heritage is my French heritage, my culture, and I feel in terms of style, like very close to what they are. So I love it. I have worked for them during so many years, done my studies as well uh, with them. Uh, when I was younger, I've done internship with them. So uh, I've got lots of fragrance that are empty. <laughs> the first one is number 19. That's a green fragrance, very elegant. It was the last fragrance Coco Chanel wore. So for me, vintage, classic, green fragrance with green flower tone, very powdery and iris. This is a staple for me in my collection. I will definitely repurchase that. Allure sensuelle, allure classic, but much more spicier, slightly fruitier, very sultry. 
it's very intense very 90s vibe to me like very opulent fun and compared to compared to the range of chanel i would say it's the most opulent one to me uh, with fragrances like coco for example but in terms of feminine fragrance definitely and then i've got coco mademoiselle totally empty will i repurchase this I have to say, I, I kind of like the intense one and I enjoy the low privé. I actually really enjoy the low privé. Uh, but uh, the classic. But to be fair, it never been really a fragrance for me. I, I'm a number five woman. I'm not a Coco Mademoiselle one. One of the most versatile fragrance and the, one of the most popular fragrance ever. And I think it deserves it because it created some. Jack, Jack Paul created something that is really versatile and suits you a lot of people so in that way i think it's a great fragrance is it made for me no i need something more like and i don't want to smell like everyone else as well i hope they're not gonna see this video next one is prada la femme again a design and that's the intense one will i repurchase it definitely it's so sexy as a designer fragrance lots of character and i usually do wear it on a first date because i don't want to go to something too extravagant original because you don't know the person you don't know their taste so better go safe and sound so usually i go for a nice designer and slightly more sultry and sexy so this is usually what i go for because i know this is still elegant but you know there's something not inside so that's the first date the last one that is empty is my Zadig Voltaire uh, girls can do anything I've seen so many bad reviews on that, I'm actually shocked. <laughs> this fragrance got me one of the most, like the most compliments with Burberry London ever. Every time I wear it, I get compliment of it. It's a lot of vanilla um, scent, but very ultra musky, so nearly clean and a very powdery touch. It's like very cloudy. I absolutely adore it. I think it's so special as well compared to the usual designer scent that you send. Nearly makes me think of a Narciso Rodriguez touch because of this powdery touch. I love it. I don't know why people don't like it, but it's fragrance is like taste, so you know. Right, let me know in the comments what are the fragrances you emptied and would you repurchase it or not. I'm so happy to refill after work. It's pleasure to work after work. <laughs> um, doing videos for me, it's, it's not like, of course, it's a work because there's a lot of things going on. The process of filming, getting ready, getting the script ready. And after editing, it's a proper work and it, it's hours and hours and sometimes even more than my regular job. But what a pleasure. What a pleasure. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet. What are you doing? This is not nice. Subscribe. I will see you very soon, hopefully. And bye now. Viens, je dans